Good morning, you guys. Welcome to the vlog. It is 4.33. I'm about to have a little clementine, and then we're gonna head to the gym for a shoulder workout. These are a different brand than I always get, and they're like, they don't peel very easily. First world problems. Um, let's head off to the gym. Very excited. I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode of this new series. I'm making a mess. Alright, off we go. I've broken all my rules that I made for you I made some boundaries that I cannot respect And when you show your face the way you always do Then these four walls around me I cannot protect yeah, it's hard, the time it took to not need me anymore Life moves by, but I'm still holding on, no It gets better when you look at the time But it's something I hold for the rest of my life And just another regret, just another upset After such a heartbreak, you're just another mistake Still I think of <laughs> I know, I was like, alright okay. These are okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, so whenever you do this We're boxing today mm -hmm. You're gonna go uh, underneath, and you're always gonna go over top. Okay, you go have over top. the end of this. Right? So, you, yep. So you put that around the thumb, okay. and you're always gonna go around. Should I take this off? And uh, right yeah. Off? Yeah. You're gonna. It's always numbers of three, so it's gonna go three down, three up. Okay. So just, just wait. I'm gonna keep you with. I'm gonna keep you with. I'm gonna keep you with. Same okay. thing. All right. So you're gonna go towards the elbow, prick your uh, palm. You keep your hand tight, just like that. So you're gonna go one. Two, three. So three coming towards the elbow. So you want to go down. Yeah, a little bit further right there. Now you're going to go three coming back. One, two. Can you take me back? Back to when we were This time, wait, I'm gonna have. Okay, we're not kicking today. We're not, we're not kicking today. Like, hold on, hold on. One hand, Ellie. Okay. Okay, you had to promise not. So, like. No. I'm not gonna promise that. <laughs> nope. We're not kicking down. We're not kicking. We're not. Okay. She's giving us like right, a so, no, 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 no shaking. No shaking. Okay. So, uh, we're gonna go into boxing. Come on up. But, uh, so, uh, your right hand, right hand dominant? Yeah. Okay, so your left hand is going to be forward. Yeah, that's my All right. left hand. The entire time, you're going to try to keep your uh, your shoulders engaged. Okay. All right, have a bend in knees, okay. and all your power should come from your hips. So a lot of the rotation, uh, especially with your, your dominant hand, uh -huh. when you come over, it's going to be swinging the hips and rotating your trunk, okay? okay. So let's try a jab, which is your left hand. You're going to be coming straight forward, mm -hmm. and then across. So let's try this, all right? So we're gonna hit one, two, so just real quick. So I'm gonna say one, two, you're just gonna hit jab, cross. Jab, cross. Are you okay. crossing your arms? So I'm still jabbing with this. You're hitting this one, then cross. So jab, cross, ready? Come on. Stay in your arm. Harder with stuff, get harder. Just reaching, rotate your trunk. I can only get this. That was good. That was really good. That was really good. Okay. <laughs> so, not yet. Don't worry about no, that. No, no, no. 
right. We're, we're not going to be We're not going to be sticky. Sorry. Just like you do like a little. you guys i have never boxed before like ever that was such a good workout i was talking to whitney after she was like what do you think of that i think that is a great way to work your it works your whole body but a great way to work your core and get your cardio in in a more fun way and a way that really does help you like relieve stress um i know there's like title boxings around columbus i don't know if that's like a nationwide thing um but I'm like, I, I'm on a, wow. I can never talk to you guys, especially in the morning after I finish a workout. I'm still kind of tired, haven't eaten anything. Well, I, I had a clementine. It's like that big. Um, yeah, I'm just always like delirious. But I think I want to start incorporating that a little bit more. Uh, but we'll see. That was a lot of fun. And I got a smoothie because I'm super hot. I'm still going to make my eggs. Uh, I'm just not gonna have my oatmeal today. So let's head home. My arm is shaking holding this camera. You know it was a good workout when that happens. You guys, she's following me. <laughs> Mind. Help me.
I really um, should start putting at least mascara on. That would help. But ever since I've been keeping makeup off my face and using my new Detox Me mask, which I've used, I used two times last week and I've already used it, no, only one time this week. So I'm gonna use it two more times, but I feel like it's been doing wonders for my skin. Like up along my forehead is normally where I struggle and like on my chin. I feel like that's pretty common for active humans because it's where obviously you're sweating a lot. So ever since I've been using the mask, I feel like it's helped a lot. It's actually <laughs> sitting right here. Um, by the time you guys are seeing this video, it's no longer 25% off, but you can always use my code Kelly Y or click the link in my bio or description. Gosh, <laughs> I keep getting Instagram and YouTube confused. Description to get 15% off Detox Me or the 123 set or any of that stuff. As soon as we hit 10K subscribers, I'm gonna do like a humongous giveaway with Frey, with Motivate stuff, with maybe a Lulu gift card. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a good time, but we still have a little bit till we get there. So tell your friends, tell them to subscribe if they haven't. All right, I'm gonna head to my dad's. We have a little bit of work to do there and I haven't seen Bud in a while. I like it. Where's Bud? Sleeping. Oh, you got the dog! Hi! <gasps> Hi! You got doggy? Mm -hmm. Alrighty, friends, it is the next day. I went in to work with my dad today. Uh, kind of needed a break from studying and he needed help, so it worked out very well. Showered, hair still wet, no makeup. You guys are used to this by now, though. Um, I figured because it is the only the second episode in this new sustainable series and I just was thinking about this today I wanted to talk about how or like what exactly sustainable means to me and how I plan to kind of go about this like lifestyle mini cut and yeah just what that means for me basically so today told you I was working with my dad this whole week so far well Sunday Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday so far, I've eaten super well, like eaten all the food I have planned. My cod, my Brussels sprouts, my asparagus, tuna, basically everything you saw in my full day of eating in the first episode, that's what I've eaten all three days so far. And I worked with my dad today, didn't bring my cod and uh, Brussels sprouts with me. And so I had a smoothie for breakfast after I got done working out, I just got one at Lifetime because it was easy and I've been really liking those recently. Like I've been so hot after our workouts that that just sounds so good. So I had that and then I didn't eat again until lunch. My dad wanted to go to Scramblers, so we went to Scramblers. And this is where the whole sustainable part of the cut comes in. When I'm dieting for a bikini competition, I am like 110% very strict on a actual meal plan. There's no flexibility. Um, if I ask for a cheat meal in certain points, like if I've been dieting for three or four weeks and I don't ever read, I, I very rarely get cheat meals because I just, um, normally my diets aren't like super, super, super long, but normally whenever I ask for them, I can have them. But regardless, that's just one meal. I think this past, this past season, I probably had two or three cheat meals out of the whole time I was dieting. Um, and then you obviously get like a meal after your show. But regardless, it's very, very strict. So that is not sustainable. And you're cutting down to a very low body fat percentage, which is also not sustainable, it's not healthy. So being able to be a little bit more flexible, be able to say yes to more things. That's the other thing when you're on prep, when there's no flexibility, you're obviously, you're having to say no to everything, which sure, I guess if you want to be 110% all the time and fitness is your life and you just want it, like all you care about is having abs, I guess, then maybe saying no to everything is a big deal to you. To most people though, the general population, saying no is hard and is not like a very enjoyable way to go through life in my opinion. So being able to do this lifestyle cut means being able to say yes to more things, at least for me. So 
today we went to scramblers i just made healthier options and that's the that's the key here is educating yourself doing a little bit more research if you're counting your macros whatever it is um i got a meal plan from my coach and basically saw it's an off-season meal plan i got it from mike um and I just wanted to see where he wanted my off season like calories to be right now, just to make sure I don't cut down too much because this is lifestyle. I'm not trying to get super lean and I am gonna have to diet for a bikini show next year. So I need my metabolism to be working well. I My body's not ready to go through another severe cut. So I wanted to make sure I didn't cut my calories too much. And I'm basically just using that meal plan as a guide and just eating a little bit underneath it. So whether that be, I'm kind of aware of the macros, but whatever, just making healthier decisions. So we went to lunch today. I got an egg white omelet and a English muffin. I did get hash browns because I hadn't eaten anything since that smoothie and I was starving, but I know a lot of places you can get like a side of fruit. You can get yogurt. You can, you can make substitutions. And normally if you ask places to make accommodations, like you can ask them to not cook for my omelet, for instance. I can ask them to not cook it in oil. And that cuts back on a lot of calories. There's just making little changes um, so you are still able to go and enjoy those experiences with whoever and go out and do fun things, but still stay on track and not get stressed out about it. So that's what sparked this whole me wanting to have this talk. And I figured there was a great time to talk about it because I know some of you are following along this journey with me, which I think is awesome. Um, I love being able to take you along my bikini prep, but I'm fully aware that that's not relatable to a lot of people. And although I'm super thankful or not thankful, well, yeah, thankful that you guys have been able to relate to it and I've, or I've made it relatable. Um, I'm really excited to go through this process with you guys. So I just wanted to share that. So simple as like if you go out to breakfast you can ask for sugar-free syrup they normally have that definitely be careful with trying not to eat too much sugar-free stuff because it can blow you really bad like I said um, but yeah just try to make healthier options there's obviously gonna be times where you're gonna say no but it shouldn't be a hundred percent of the time you should be able to say yes every once in a while and make it enjoyable sustainable cut you should still be able to enjoy life, AKA that's what makes it sustainable. You can mentally stay sane throughout the entire thing. So you can actually sustain that lifestyle. You're making a lifestyle change. That is all I have. I just wanted to touch on that really quick. I hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, yeah, that's all I got. We did do tricep workout this morning. My triceps are absolutely killing me. Um, I'll put a little bit of that footage in. It was a lot of fun. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably already saw it, but we played this little tricep dip game. I won some, lost some. Some of them were pathetic. It was fun, though. I will see you guys in the next video, which will most likely be still every other day. So, not tomorrow, but the next day. Back down, back down, back down, back down. <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> Here we go, y'all. You ready? Here we go, try some dip. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep those hips up. Nope, I didn't <laughs> see. <laughs> what was that? I was definitely not at the time. I can't 
Thank you.